Nick? Yeah, I think Jared and I disagree, and, um, and it's something that really frustrates me, and part of the reason why I got into this race is he sits on the Natural Resources Committee, and so he has a very huge impact into the federal regulation and the direction of the energy sector in CD2, and with 60% of our land being uh, federal land and public land, I understand the concern to save tor tourism, but at the same time, we can't turn off sources of energy that have 100% yield, such as a, a barrel of oil. Um, when, when you have wind yield or solar yield, um, sometimes they max up to 60, 70 percent, but it's still not to that 100 percent threshold yet. So the cost effectiveness um, begins to, to be questionable. And then other areas such as um, uh, hydro, um, tidal, kinetic, all these other sources, um, we might not be geographically well positioned to take advantage of those as well. So um, this is something Jared and I disagree on. We have seen since 2008, 75 percent of the drill locations taken down. We've seen only three mines remain open in the state when we had 12. And I understand and I agree that we should move to a more sustainable energy um, platform, but at the same time we can't turn off sources quicker than we're putting new ones up. I'm not sure when you say, you know, when you say three mines are open, I think it might be conflating it. When you're talking about fracking and oil and gas extraction, there's over 20,000 active wells in Weld County alone. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the sheer magnitude of this activity, uh, which is an important economic ac activity, uh, really affects local communities. It also has larger impacts that beyond local communities like clean air and clean water. Uh, and I am the chief sponsor of a bill uh, to remove the exemption that fracking has federally from the Clean Air Act and from the Clean Water Act. They've traditionally been exempt under what we call the small site exemption because each particular fracking pad is a relatively small emissions profile, but 20,000 together, 5,000 together, uh, you have areas of Wyoming, uh, northern Colorado that have worse air quality than Los Angeles as a result of the uh, combined impact of tens of thousands of wells within a certain vicinity. Doesn't mean that that's banned federally. It means that that needs to be included under the Clean Air Act as well as the Clean Water Act when you look at groundwater. I think, I think the distinction we need to make here is he just took credit for Ken Buck's success in defending the tap wells in Weld County. So I, I disagree with that. He, he does not represent Weld County, and I wouldn't represent Weld County either. I also so, don't so, want to take so, credit for anything Ken Buck so, does, so, so I don't you, know if you want so to. You, you, well, you just did. So I think <laughs> that's, friend, I think that's important I, to notate. Uh, and then uh, secondly, with the methane uh, provision that he co-sponsored, now you're starting to talk about agriculture as well. Um, some of the largest producers of methane, as he knows, is livestock. And we also have marshes that are large producers. So this, this moves into far more than just oil and gas. It moves into natural resources, cattle, livestock, agriculture, and all of this is impacted by that bill. So if we are going to have those provisions, they need to be more refined, more targeted, more niche, because right now they're too broad spread. Let's get to an